Andy Sauer, our referee. He'll be joining us here in the commentary box later on this evening. The 2005 K1 Max tournament champion. And he is a real martial artist. Um, he hasn't got a bad bone in his body, apart from when he gets in there to fight. And then he's an absolute machine. Um, but what I love about this event is the bringing together of real martial artists. People without yeah. an agenda. There's none of this BS. People swearing and abusing their opponents. It's sportsmanship, honor, and respect at all times. Yeah, I think it's a very important thing. Sometimes it can get heated and spicy in the weigh-ins, you know, with a stare down and a little bit of pushing. But I don't like this Amer American style of swearing and, and uh, disrespect. No, you have to respect each other. If you go together in the ring, I think you have always have to respect each other. And as you, you see them after the fight, they are friends. And before the fight, they are, they are shouting each other. Mm. So yeah, wh why why they do this? It's not necessary. No. It's not personal. It, no, it's nothing to do with the sport, I think. It's business. Yeah. But, it, like you say, it's sport and, and martial maybe art. Maybe some people like it, but it's already violence enough in the ring. Yeah, I think, well, it's only Americans who like it. We're a different breed. Now, Gregor Gotar from France. Very long looking guy. Very rangy. Ivan Nakari from Italy. Shorter, stockier. It's an under 70 kilogram fight. Gotardi there with the red gloves on. Slender up top, but look at how thick his calves are. Very strong legs. And he's really tall. He needs to get, if he can get his range. 67 kilo, he's a tall guy. Yeah. They had nice kicks as well, very sharp. That nice body shot there to the left-hand side of Nakari. And you see the, uh, the mark on the right-hand side of Nakari. Andy Sauer there controlling the action, breaking them up, let's work. They're strong kicks thrown by uh, Gotardi from France. And it's a problem. If, you, if you're Nakari, the shorter opponent, he's got the problem that as he, as he tries to close the distance, that was a lovely combination. Yeah, it was a good combination. As he tries to come in and close the distance, he's risking being caught by a knee There you've got it. Yep. End of the first round. The cleaner work there. The crisper strikes thrown by Gregor Gotardi from France in the red corner. Ivan Nakari there couldn't really get his distance. He needs to close the gap and fight from the inside. But how... What tactics, are, what advice would you give him for that? Yeah, Albert? I think you have to, uh, to keep more pressure. To, uh, to fight a little bit more aggressive and go more in the front. So get busier. Yeah, yeah push, more pushing on him. And it's interesting. Don't let him think. Now he can think what he's gonna do. Keep the pressure on, on him and work. And it's interesting watching this replay here. You can see that the body of Gregor Gattardi is open. Yeah. So if Nakari can close the gap, get inside as you say, I think you have to use also the the uh, how I say the the level punches up and down. Take the body, move to the head, 
and change the levels. That Dutch kickboxing style again. One, yeah. two to the body, upstairs, yeah. followed by that low kick to finish it off. Yeah. But maybe it's also a little bit uh, backwards because of his uh, south ball. He's not used maybe to it. Because some fighters have really, uh, is dip for some fighters it's difficult to fight against the south ball fighters. Yeah, you, see, you see him every time he moves easy, to the right side, he pushes the right hand, and he moves to the right side. Uh huh. You see, every time he steps to the right side, so it's difficult to cut the ropes. Mm. And it's difficult if you you can't really lead with a jab. But if you're fighting someone southpaw, it's you've got to throw that right hand to yeah. open him up. Yeah, it's more easy to the middle. But this is where preparation, doing your homework on your opponent before you arrive really does count. Nakari goes down there. It wasn't a knockdown, but it's, it is the kick that's sending him over. He's a little bit scared of the leg, yeah. yeah. He wait too long. Gotard looks loose and fluid. I think the Italian guy has to make more war of it. Give more pressure. And fight aggressive. More aggressive. You want to see him turn it into a brawl? Yeah. I think if you want to win, he had to do that. There's that lovely knee. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult to uh, just fight skill for skill against someone who's who's got so much range on you, like yeah. Gattardi. And he used it also very good. I think now he's only growing in the fight. Yep. Once he's worked out the range yeah. and the timing of the Italian, those combinations are coming out much, much more fluid now. That was a hard body kick. End of the second round. And I think we'd agree that Gregor Gotardi from France is ahead two rounds to nothing. At this point, Ivan Nakari has got it all to do. And like you say, Albert, I think you're right. He's got to come out aggressive, yeah. stand in the center, turn it into a brawl. If you want to win, he has to do something in the third round because else it, uh, it's over for him. If you're going out, go out on your shield. And it's interesting that a lot of promoters on events like this, you know they don't just bring you back for winning. They bring you back for how you fought. Yeah. I think if you are attractive for the audience, they always want to see you fight. Yeah. Here we go, third and final round. Gregor Gotardi. He's found his range, his timing. And he's two rounds ahead. Ivan Nakari from Italy. He's got it all to do here. And it's worth noting that Gotardi from France, he's making his debut here at Senshi 16, whereas Ivan Nakari he's come, he's, this is his third time in the Senshi ring and he's got a two and one record in Senshi. So he shouldn't be starstruck tonight by the event. He knows what he's what he's come for.
I mean, Nakari is not throwing any power shots. No, I think, yeah. Like you say, turn it into a brawl. Yeah. Take, take three yeah. shots to land one of your own. Yeah, but uh, he, I think he's, uh, uh, how I say it, uh, ready with it. He knows uh, what will be the result and he don't want to do anything more. Well, he can't work it out. But would we like to see Gotardi change up a gear and finish his opponent? Or is he going to play safe for the rest of this final round? Yeah, no, the clinching is coming more. So there, at, when to they're throw close, his hands, that, yeah. yes. Then he has to throw his hands. He, he come close and he do nothing. Throw on, make combination. So, yeah, he's getting in close. He could drop his head. Boom, boom, start throwing some hooks. That high kick, although it has been blocked time and time again, is very crisp and sharp from Gotardi. Okay, yeah. Italian keeps coming in, closing the gap, and like you say, he's not yeah, capitalizing he on he it. He don't throw his hands. He only walks forward and does nothing. So, the end of our second contest. Fought under KWU, full Ladies contact rules. There's that strong front tape there from Gotardi. That crisp high kick. The judges are just uh, making their decision. But on my scorecard, it's three rounds to nothing in favor of the red corner. France winning a decisive victory here in his Senshi debut. And I'm sure that Senshi will want him back. Ladies and gentlemen, we have winner. All the judges score the fight. 30, 27 for the winner in the red corner. Grégoire Gautardi from yeah. France. There we go, unanimous decision in favor of France. Grégoire Gautardi, a great performance. Third place European Open 2008, three times European Tamashawari champion. And um, Ivan Nakari, he's going to go away disappointed. That wasn't his best performance of his career. He couldn't get going. He was closing the gap, but wasn't capitalizing on it. And in some respects, would you blame a, a fighter's corner there for not giving yeah, him? Yeah, but maybe he don't listen. And then it's, yeah, it's not the corner's fault. Yeah. I think uh, if you see his fight, he was not aggressive, aggressive enough. Uh, he not really oh. come to win, I think. Yeah, see, it was a bit this of a lazy fun. performance. Yeah. Um, and if you're fighting on a stage like this, you've yeah, got to pull out all the stops. To give everything. Yes. I think he fought with the break on it. And, Please uh, give your applause to these fighters. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Congratulations.